guys, welcome back to my channel. So I am always getting questions about my hair and requests to do a hair care routine. I already do have a hair care routine on my channel, but it was from last fall, so I figured I might as well do an updated version. So that is what we are going to be doing today. I hope you guys are excited. Hit the thumbs up button if you are. I'm currently on like third day hair and like second day curls. Probably should have washed my hair for this video, so my hair might be looking like a little bit frizzy. If you did see my previous hair care routine, some of this might be a little bit kind of repetitive for you because I haven't like completely changed my entire routine or anything but I do have some new products that I'm really loving. So my hair type is thick but with fine strands so essentially I have a ton of really fine hair and my hair is totally straight naturally like it has zero texture whatsoever and I am typically quite oily at the roots you guys know I'm on Accutane so my body's not producing as much oil and my ends do tend to get dry I'm very prone to split ends but my hair is pretty healthy overall. If you did see my last hair care routine you may remember that I'm on a mission to grow my hair out and my hair has grown quite a bit since then like it's obviously in like loose waves so it's a little bit longer than this so it's like kind of like bottom of the boob length currently it has grown quite a bit since my last routine so I'm very happy about that I've had a couple people ask me what I ask for when I get my hair cut and it's pretty straightforward for the most part I ask for my hair to just be all one length recently though when I went in I asked for some really subtle long layers and some more face framing pieces just because my hair was getting so heavy now that it's getting longer and it was just really lacking any kind of shape and I always just ask for the very bare minimum taken off my ends so that my hair can still be healthy without losing any length. So I'm going to start off by talking about the hair color that I use because this is by far the biggest thing I get questions on. So I use a natural hair color called Herbitint. It is a chemical free hair dye. I'll insert a picture of it somewhere on the screen right now. It is a permanent hair color gel and is basically non-damaging because it's not loaded up with a ton of chemicals. It has a bunch of natural essential oils and things like that in it. I think I would have been either 18 or 19 the first time I used Herbitint and I just really fell in love with it. I've been using it ever since. I don't color my hair too often. I go as far in between as I possibly can. So I usually do it, I would say, every like six to eight months or so. I just let my roots run rampant essentially. Of course, I'll have all these products and everything listed down below, but most recently I use the shade 5M Light Mahogany Chestnut and it takes me nearly two boxes to do my entire head of hair with my length and the thickness of my hair. Herbitint makes my hair so incredibly shiny like when you see my videos after I freshly colored my hair my hair is insanely glossy and sleek I highly recommend it if you are trying to get your hair really nice and healthy and strong but you don't want to give up coloring your hair okay so let's talk shampoo and conditioner at the moment I have an excessive amount of these products in my shower currently because I like to have two shampoos on the go always which I'll get to that in a second but then influencer sent me a hair care line that I'm also trying out I don't wash my hair very often so so I always like to have a clarifying shampoo and then a hydrating shampoo as well. So for my clarifying shampoo, there is one product I use. I never use anything else. And I think I've been using this since I was 15. It is like my holy grail. And it is the Lush I Love Juicy Shampoo. This is a clarifying shampoo that's formulated with fruit juices. So the enzymes from those fruit juices break down any excess oil, product buildup, anything like that. And having a typically very oily scalp, this is the best stuff ever. This is what allows me to go multiple days without washing my my hair. If you are someone who has an oily scalp or you use a ton of dry shampoo or product or you just need something to like remove that natural build up every once in a while, this stuff is the bomb. It's honestly the best shampoo I've ever tried. And then my current hydrating shampoo is this big boy here. This is a one liter bottle of the Macadamia Natural Oil Rejuvenating Shampoo. I picked this up at Winners. This bottle is like $32 there so it's a pretty good value. I'm going to have this forever and it has the pump which is really nice. I didn't love this when I first started using it because it is sulfate free and I like a nice like squeaky clean kind of lather. But I know it's not the best for my hair to be using a clarifying shampoo all the time. So this has really grown on me and it's just a lot more gentle and I feel like it does leave my hair very well hydrated. I decided to try this out because I love their deeper pair mask in the tub. I just recently ran out of my favorite conditioner of the moment and it is the OGX coconut milk conditioner. That stuff is amazing. I haven't repurchased it yet because when you guys are seeing this I will be in the mountains and I try and use up all my deluxe size samples when I'm gone. But that stuff is incredible. If you love like a really 
thick heavy duty conditioner like you have a lot of hair like I do that tends to get dry this stuff is the best like I haven't tried a conditioner in quite a while that I'm like wow I really love this but I'm obsessed with this coconut milk conditioner I have also been using this Novex argan oil extra deep hair care cream this is like a deep conditioner for in the shower this is really inexpensive and it is quite good I haven't been using it for too long so I can't speak on it too much but it's a little bit thinner consistency than I would like but so far it's been really good I believe you can get this product at Sally's for like under $10. It's really inexpensive and this is supposed to help with split ends and frizziness which is what I need. And then my favorite hair mask lately has been this Hello Hair Hydrating Oil Mask. This product is 100% natural. It's just a different blend of oils and this is one that you apply on dry hair before you hop in the shower which is my personal favorite. So I'll put this on. You can leave it on for as long as you want since it's natural and I'll usually keep it in while I'm like doing stuff around the house so I'll keep it in for like a few hours. I do shampoo my hair twice when I use this because it is oil it can be a little bit hard to remove but it leaves my hair so soft and it's been keeping my scalp really well hydrated too while I've been on Accutane. I try and do this like every week and a half or so and I already have two backups of it so needless to say I love this stuff. I'm just going to really quickly mention my dry bar buttercup hair dryer. I've talked about this so many times on my channel so you guys are probably sick of hearing about it but if you're in the market for an amazing blow dryer check this out. It has been worth every penny. I've had it for over a year now and it has absolutely transformed formed my hair. Like I said, my hair is naturally straight, but a lot of the time what I like to do is round brush my hair with this just to get it perfectly straight and smooth. When you see me with my hair straight, that's usually what I have done. And it just makes my hair so sleek and shiny and that perfect straightness will last for days, even sleeping on it and everything. My hair will wake up looking perfect and like I've just blown it out every morning. So yes, this is a very expensive hair tool, but like I said, it is worth every single penny, believe me. So now we've just got styling and leave-in products left. I'm going to talk about my my absolute favorite leave-in hair product first and this is the agave healing oil oil treatment I have tried a wide variety of hair oils I tried all the big high-end ones like Moroccan oil Josie Marin Bumble and Bumble invisible oil and I can confidently say that this is hands down the best hair oil if there's one thing out of this video that you want to splurge on and treat yourself to it should be this honestly I think a hair oil is one of the most important things if you want like ultra healthy and soft hair but this stuff is just honestly the best one I've ever tried. It's another product I've been using for over a year now. I started using it last spring and I'm obsessed with this stuff. I take a full pump on my damp hair and work it from about my ears down. And then I just take like one tiny little drop, really warm it up in my hands and run it through my roots as well just to keep everything nice and smooth and hydrated. And it just keeps my hair so healthy and in such perfect condition. Like I honestly don't even know what else to say about it other than it's an incredible product. A couple leave-in conditioners that I have on the go at the moment. First one was in a favorites video a few months ago and this is the Beauty Protector Protect and Detangle Leave-In Conditioner. I got this from Birchbox. I know Birchbox Canada is shut down but I believe they have it on the Birchbox US website and I'll have to take a look at their regular website and see if they ship here. I'm hoping they do because if they don't I'm going to be majorly sad when I run out of this but if you want your hair to feel like absolute silk this is the product for you. I don't know how they do it, but this product makes my hair so soft and this is what I do use when I'm going to be blowing out my hair and keeping it straight. It's one of those products that claims to do a ton of different things like detangle, seals cuticle, heat protects, it's weightless, it's non-greasy. It just makes my hair so soft, honestly, that's why I love it. And then the leave-in conditioner that I use when I'm going to be curling my hair because that makes my hair too soft to curl. I use the Gorge I'll Make You Look Amazing Daily Spray. This is kind of similar, it has a bunch of claims on it as well and this just leaves a little bit of texture texture to my hair so that's why I use it before curling. And finally just a couple quick styling products. I really love the Batiste dry shampoo. This is the best spray dry shampoo if you have really oily roots and need some serious oil control. And then I also really love this Amika Undone Texture Spray. This is just a like volumizing kind of spray and I really enjoy this. It's a bit more affordable than some other options out there like Orbe and stuff like that but it does a similar job. Plus this entire hair care range smells phenomenal. Like it's some of the best smelling hair care I've ever tried. But that's that wraps up my hair care routine. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully I kind of covered all of the questions you had. Of course, if you have any other questions, you can leave them in the comments down below and I will be responding to them when I get back from my trip. Let me know if you guys want to see a video on just like hair care tips and like all the little things I do to keep my hair healthy because while products play a big part in it, I believe a lot of it has to do with like techniques and just how you kind of treat your hair in general. So let me know if that's something you'd be interested in seeing. Hit the thumbs up button if you did enjoy this video. 
Don't forget to check me out on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. I am at Sari Rihanna on all three. And of course, if this is the first video of mine you're seeing, I would love it if you would hit subscribe down below. But I will talk to all of you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. This looks terrible. It's still, like, even though the Beauty Blender worked a bit better for the coverage, it's still patchy, it's still very inconsistent, and the Beauty Blender